peanut butter pretzel brownies. Fudgy, crunchy, and delicious. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo Max 12. Hello, everyone. Starting off with a large saucepan over medium low heat, melt one half cup of butter. Once it's melted, remove it from the heat, add in one cup of white granulated sugar, and then stir in two eggs. Now blend in one third of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. You may want to sift it first to make sure there are no big lumps. Now blending in a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And there's also a teaspoon of vanilla that was added there and is not shown for some reason. That is one cup of flour I just stirred in there. And then for the secret ingredient, one cup of chopped up salted pretzels and a half a cup of chocolate chips to give it that extra chocolatey fudgy taste. Stir until just combined and pour it into a greased 8 by 8 inch baking dish. I line mine with aluminum foil and spray the foil a little bit. Now we'll make the peanut butter layer. Half a cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of butter, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and a half a cup of creamy peanut butter. Stir it together until nice and smooth and then drop it by spoonfuls on top of the brownie batter. Then using a butter knife or a spoon, just gently swirl the two parts together. You don't want to overmix it because you do want to have pockets of a peanut butter layer in the brownies when they're done. Then you're going to take some mini pretzels and arrange them on the top of the brownies. You put about 16 of them and that'll be one pretzel per serving. Bake at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes until they are set. Let them cool and then drizzle with additional melted chocolate if you'd like. I love chocolate and peanut butter and I love the combination of sweet and salty so these brownies are really really good. I took this batch to work and they were immediately devoured and everyone told me how much they really liked them. They are nice and fudgy and the pretzels inside the brownies actually stay crispy so you get a little bit of crunch with each piece and each piece has a little pretzel on the top and with that chocolate drizzle they just look so nice. I hope you give these ones a try. There seems to be infinite recipe variations when it comes to brownies, and my goal in life is to try each and every one of them. If you want to see some of the brownies I've already made, I've put them all in a playlist. I'm sure you're going to find a brownie recipe in there that you're going to love. If you want to see this, go ahead and click right on your screen. See the links in the description box, or you can also click on the little eye on your screen. Thanks for watching.